All right, guys, this is a supplemental video to episode 15, last night's live stream. Uh, we had some issues when we left off with limit and offset uh, with our pagination. And I told you guys that I would shoot an additional video when I figured it out and upload it as soon as possible. So that's what this is. This is not going to be a long video. Um, let me dive right in and show you what's going on. All right, so um, essentially I'm really dumb. Uh, in the live stream last night, I could figure this out after I left, but essentially um, what I was doing is I was putting the offset um, as the page minus one, but that's not that's not the full story of the offset. The offset also needs to be um, it needs to be uh, multiplied by our limit. So we need to move. So what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to say times limit, and then we're going to move this line below our limit right here, and that will give us the correct offset. Now um, we can we can actually simplify this stuff uh, a couple ways. One thing we're going to do is we are going to um, get rid of this select. We don't need that at all. And then what we're going to do is we're going to copy this original select and we're going to put that right back in that beginning of that SQL statement. So that's just going to live right there. Um, and we can get rid of this select. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to move total down to right above results. Okay. The next thing that I want to do is uh, get rid of this select variables inside of these queries. We don't need those. We're just using SQL. The next thing that I want to do is instead of getting the first and looking for total here, let's just return the query and then count. There's a, a DB method called count and that will give us the count. Um, it's going to leave off the limit and offset still because we didn't concatenate that on, uh, but we did concatenate it on here. The next thing we need to do is add back our group buys, but actually first, <clears throat> what I want to do is up here we have this check where we're checking what has filters. I need to check that again, so what we're going to do is create a has filters uh, variable, and we're just going to set that equal to self has filters, and then we pass in the options. And then we're just going to replace this if statement here so we don't need to run that method again once it's run. So it has filters. The next thing I want to do is down here, we're going to add uh, our group. So I'm just going to do that right here above pager. And we're going to say group. And this is going to equal, well, we're going to use a ternary. We're going to say has filters. And if it has filters, then we're going to um, group by products.id. Um, and then we're going to order by um, we're going to order by products dot name and then what we're going to do is um, else if there's no filter set what I think I want to do here is just do a group by um, products ID still products dot ID and then here what I want to do is order by um, <clears throat> products dot featured descending and then um, we need semicolon there and then what I want to do is go up here to the where clause and we're going to remove the this whole check where we're saying products dot featured is one because I'd actually like to show all products 
on the home page instead of just the featured stuff and you don't have to do that but that's the way that I want this to work is that the featured products are just going to show up first and then the not featured products so they can still page through all the products that they want um, since we do have the pagination set up that should work but then the last thing we need to do here is we just need to concatenate on our dot group right here after the SQL so that's gonna when it runs the total it's going to run the same query uh, as it does with getting the full results except for the full results are going to add the limit and offset so let's go and uh, try this out now make sure I didn't break anything so now we have three pages you can see that the ones that aren't featured show up last uh, so it, it appears to be working correct um, and then let's go here and let's just show me everything um, by days of wonder okay so we got a problem here so this is probably has to do with our um, group statement I must have messed something up here yep and I have a typo right here Okay, so there's our days of wonder. Um, let's find everything under a hundred dollars. Got three pages. Let's let's find everything under fifty dollars. And we have two pages of those. Um, so it's still a little weird with if you run this search right here. Um, it, it if you're on page two and you run a search it's going to stay on page two um and so that's not really the behavior that we want we want if it runs these we probably want to reset the page uh to page one uh, so i'll try to knock that out really quick so let's see um let's look at the best way to do that I think what we can do since we've given our filter form an ID is we're just going to um, yeah I think the easiest way to do this is with JavaScript so what we'll do is we're gonna say um, we're gonna add um, document dot get element by ID and then what we want to do is we're gonna target the filter form and what we're going to do is add an event listener and that will be submit and what's going to happen when this submits um, let's see we'll have an event passed down we're just going to use an anonymous function here and we're going to say event um dot prevent default which will stop the form from submitting uh, and then what we're going to do is um uh, let's see i'm going to set bar form and that's going to be equal to event dot target and then here we're just going to um, uh, document dot get element by ID and here we're going to look for is that page and we're going to set that page value oops dot value and we're going to set that equal to one and then what we're going to do is form dot submit. So let's try that out now. All right, so let's go ahead and add a filter. Um, let's say, actually, you know what? Let's go to page two. So we're on page two, and now we're going to search for a filter. And you can see that now 
it, it goes ahead and before it submits the form, it changes that page back to page one. So now it doesn't matter what we're on. If we go and filter something here, it's going to take us back to page one. And that's the behavior that we want to happen. Um, so that's good to go. Um, we need to make sure that we can still page though. So let me... Um, yeah, I think that's good. All right, guys. Well, uh, just wanted to clear that up from last night's uh, tutorial. I think that leaves us in a pretty good place to start our next tutorial with pagination working and filtering working. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. So with that, I'm out.